Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, please hit the like button and please subscribe. It does help my channel out. And I appreciate all my subscribers. They are just awesome. I can't thank them enough. Well, this is uh, an old one. Yeah, it would be a uh, little over a week old now. It was uh, on the 19th of November of 22. Texas DA opens election investigation. Oh my goodness. A demo, a Texas Democrat District Attorney has opened an investigation into claims of criminal conduct during last week's elections in the Lone Star State. Harris County DA Kim Ogg, OGG, is seeking assistance from the Texas Rangers regarding allegations allegations that some polling places stayed open after official hours or ran out of ballot paper on election day. Allegations. Ran out of paper? Ran out of ballot paper on election day and stayed open after hours. Well, they probably thought they had to if they got uh, some of the paper coming in so the people could finish voting. I would think so. I don't know. Og told reporters that the free and fair elections are the bedrock of our democracy. She added that when her offices received credible complaints of election regularities, she is required by law to investigate. Og's announcement probe came after Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, said on Monday that he is calling for investigations by the Texas Ranger. The Secretary of State and the State Attorney General into allegations of improper improperities in the state's largest county that may result from anything ranging from maleficence to blunate criminal conduct. Wow. Houston and many surrounding communities are situated in Harris County, which is home of around 4.1 million residents. Hmm. Governor Greg, uh, Greg Abbott calls for the investigation into Harris County. I am calling on the Secretary of State, Attorney General Office, and the Texas Rangers to initiate investigations into allegations of improper improperities in the way that the 22 elections were conducted in Harris County. The allegations of election improper improperities 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 I don't know. It's a big word. <laughs> in our state and this is a video, but I can't play it. I'm just reading what's on the face of it. Uh, may result in anything ranging from uh, malfeasance to blatant, blatant, or B L A T A N T, blatant, blatant criminal conduct. Voters in Harris County deserve to know what happened. Integrity in the election process is essential. To achieve that standard, a thorough investigation is warranted. Abbott said um, a thorough investigation is needed so that the Harris County voters can know what happened with their election process. Aug also confirmed that she received a referral from the Texas Secretary of State to begin the investigation she announced. Although Abbott uh, cruised cruised to re-election last week, C-R-U-I-S-E-D, cruised to re-election last week, he lost Harris County to Democrat opponent Beto O'Rourke. State Attorney General Ken Paxton also won re-election while losing Harris County. The Harris County Republican Party filed a lawsuit against the county and its election administrator Clifford Tantum on Monday alleging that Tantum violated state election laws by releasing voting results prematurely on election day. 
The case also claims that Tatum instructed elect election judges to allow county employees to pick up election results from various polling locations. Harris County Democrat Party Chair uh, Otis Evaga Heru. I'm going to spell it, people. I am so sorry. It's E V B A G H A R U. Eva Bagaguru. <laughs> said that Og was only trying to score political points. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> but I have to apologize for not pronouncing these names right, but oh, where do they get these names from? You know, where do they come from? I'm pretty good at English. I really am. <laughs> you wouldn't know it though, would you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. The case also claims that Tatum, T A T U M, Tatum, instructed election judges to allow county employees to pick up election results from various polling locations. Okay, Harris County Democrat Party Chair Otis. E-V-B-A-G-H-A-R-U said that Og was only trying to score political points by investigating the election. He also said that she was only enabling election deniers and QAnon, Q-A-N-O-N, QAnon, conspiracy ther theorist, theorist, T-H-E-O-R-I-S-T-S, Theorist. I thought that said terrorist there for a minute, but it's the, the conspiracy theorist. Theorist. Boy, I got a good dictionary. Oh, anybody, anybody ask me out of my family, what do I want for Christmas? I'm gonna say the biggest dictionary you can find from every country in the world. I don't care. <laughs> oh Lord. The Texas Secretary of State has announced that Harris County will be part of its 2022 election <laughs> audit. The county was also part of the 2020 election audit. That office and the Federal Department of Justice has monitors in place in Harris County last week on Election Day as part of the auditing process. So that was good, auditing, keeping an eye on stuff, more or less. Okay, well, that was all right, but they can't help it if they ran out of paper. What would they have done? Send the voters home and made another date that they could have come back? I suppose they could have done that, but I suppose the voters that traveled, maybe, a distance, so they were just actually trying to be fair to the voters to wait to see if they could get some paper in. You know, so that's why they stayed after hours. I mean, it all comes together. But if that's against the rules, then that shouldn't have happened. Oh, my gosh. Did you think, <laughs> after you were born and you grew up about five, six, seven years of age, that you started to really understand things, life would be so complicated? That people would be so complicated? <laughs> uh, wow. I don't know. Well, let's find another one right here. I'm going to click on this one here because I'm not familiar with this one. And I catch what I can when I can. Let's see what NBC's got here. Sexton blast NBC for suspending journalists over Pelosi's report. Now, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Like I said, it I just popped on it. Uh, while leftists in the mainstream media and political realms have pushed the narrative that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, was attacked by a right-wing radical who broke into the couple's home last month, there are a number of unanswered questions regarding the circumstances of the assault. Well... I've been waiting to get a couple reports 
you know, of who that stranger was that opened the door to let the police in that nobody knew was there to begin with except for Mr. Pelosi. You know, I'm just, I just wanted to see a report of who that person was. In a handful of cases, a media report highlighted certain inconsistencies in the story. But such inconvenient facts that routinely been retracted or buried under speculative theories about the attacker's motive. Now he was screaming, Nancy, 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 where's Nancy? Maybe he really wasn't looking for Nancy. Could he have been a jilted lover? And maybe his other part was at the Pelosi house? And that's why he broke in? Because he really wasn't looking? Oh, I don't know. You know, when you get into these news articles and you read so much stuff, <laughs> your mind just goes every which way. You can ask any reporter. You know, if they get a story, they try to get it straight, correct, because they have to get it correct. You know, there's no fluff. If you're actually a reporter, because they'd lose their job and nothing flat. But a person like me that's just doing videos on YouTube and stuff like that, we want the truth from the articles that is sure. But boy, it can just mess your brain up. You know? Sometimes. <laughs> oh, you know, boo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, conservative, commentator, Buck Saxton, commentator, Buck Saxton, recently spoke out against the media for its perceived deception, citing one particular egregious example, I can't believe I said that word, I pronounced that correctly, did I? Wow, in involving NBC News, I'm getting silly, I'm getting tired, I guess, I don't know. I got so much work ahead of me tonight yet that I got to keep it straight. The network suspended reporter Miguel Almangur for sharing a report earlier this month that Paul Pelosi was not engaged in a struggle with the attacker when police arrived at the home and made no immediate mention of an emergency at the location. It says that when the police got in the house, Pelosi turned around and walked away from him. Now, he's just been hit in the head with a hammer. Wouldn't you be going to the police saying, help me, help me, help me, instead of turning around and going the opposite way? Well, of course, he was dazed. You know, he had a bad concussion. He had to go through surgery. Cracked skull. So that could have been, you know. <clears throat> I don't know. Here's the Paul Pelosi report from NBC's Today Show that has been scrubbed from their Twitter and site. In it, Magool, Migel, I think that's pronounced Migel, M-I-G-U-E-L, Migel, Omagor, alleged police didn't know what was happening on, uh, upon arrived and Paul didn't declare an emergency. Instead, walk toward the suspect, away from the police. Now, I just read that right here. It's in black and white. After NBC removed the segment and asserted that it fell short of the network's reporting standards, executives decided that Alama Gore deserved to be suspended. Well, I think it's pretty straightforward, Sexton said, of the situation. This is yet again the American people being shown what the rules of so-called journalism are. Liars get Pulitzers. Truth tellers get fired. And in this case, suspended because it's all about activism. Oh, boy. In a recent interview with Fox News Channel host Will Cain, he went on to insist that the mainstream outlets like NBC News exist to support the partisan narrative in the moment without regard for the facts at hand. 
Like I said, you gotta get the facts if you're a reporter. I don't know. Kane noted that there's more confusion about the attack on Paul Pelosi, reiterating the di disconnect between the Justice Department claim that police opened the door, local law enforcement agencies that Pelosi let officers in. Now, the other report said a stranger opened the door because Pelosi was on the couch. He had just been hit in the head with a hammer. When asked about Almagur's suspicion, and I know I'm not pronouncing that name right, but it's A-L-M-A-G-U-E-R. Almagur's suspension. NBC News spokesperson uh, Stephen Labaton, Labaton only asserted, we don't comment on personal matters. That's okay. I don't blame them. One former network executive was not satisfied with his silence on the matter and called for transparency from current NBC bosses, who wrote Migul's script. The individual asked, who wrote it? Migul's, Migul's script. Who wrote it? Who approved the script? Are he and his producers suspended during an international investigation? NBC's silence on this matter speaks volumes. NBC owes it to its audience to be truthful and not cover up. That's right. So right that is. Hmm. Well, I see another one right here that I might do. I'm going to uh, leave now and take a break for a minute. But I see one right here that I want to kind of look into. But I'll be back. I'll be back. God bless you.